Hello. Welcome to my channel. Thanks for being here. Um, I am significantly higher up in this new apartment. In my old one, I was on the second floor. Um, but still, the dog barking bounces um, off the walls. I think, here. That's like kind of my situation, right? So, a view. Um, but uh, it's just a lot of brick. And I think sounds bounce. I don't know. I did not do well uh, in that portion of physics. Also, electricity, bad at that. Um, so sound and electricity, super bad at it, which is weird because I'm talking into something that only runs on electricity. Oh well, what are you gonna do? This is my chosen path. Today we have Ipsy. Glam bag, regular, version 1.0. OG. I don't know. I don't think anything's OG about Ipsy, but what can you do? So if you're unfamiliar, let me open this up. Okay. So if you're unfamiliar with Ipsy, it is a makeup and skincare subscription service. There are three tiers of uh, purchasable things. Um, there's this one, the Glam Bag Regular. No, no adjectives, no superlatives, nothing. Glam Bag Regular, that's it. It is $12 a month plus shipping and taxes. No, shipping's free, but you have to pay taxes. This is like 13 bucks for me. But it'll probably be different depending on where you are. Um, you get five sample size, sometimes full size, but mostly sample size items in your bag. You get to pick one of them and the rest are based off of a quiz, based off of a quiz. I actually find it, I can discuss, but uh, they are supposed to be based off of stated preferences, the other items you get in addition to the one that you pick for yourself. I found that the quiz works pretty well. I do try to change it every month if I deem, if I feel like it's necessary, and that works relatively well. And then also ratings, you get to rate the items you get. Um, I find that has a little bit more influence. Um, so again, if you have, there's lots of documentation out there about how to game the system. There's also Glam Bag Plus, which is $25 a month. You get five full-size items. You get to pick three of them. But just so you know, the Glam Bag, this little baby guy, everyone's picking from the same items, right? So if anyone else who also gets Glam Bag is going to be able to pick the same items as you. If you're doing Glam Bag Plus, they curate the items you get to pick from. So sometimes the will show you a spoiler. Um, I live close now to airplane paths instead of ambulance paths. What can we do? You could probably not even hear it. That might be super close. But anyway, um, if you're getting Glam Bag Plus, you could, there could be a spoiler. You want that spoiler. And that is not one of the two items picked for you, and it's also not in your choices. That can definitely happen. So just, you get to pick more, but the pool's a little different. Just, I, I don't get that bag, but just FYI. And then there's also Glam Bag X, which is a quarterly upgrade. So no matter what bag you get, either the tiny or the big, you will upgrade. And so instead of the one you usually get, you get this upgraded one, Glam Bag X. And that is $55 a quarter total. So <laughs> it's like confusing um, and not fun. Um, so if you're paying 12 bucks, you can pay an additional like 30, whatever, to add up to 50. Um, and if you're getting the big bag, you're paying an extra like 25 to get up to 50. You see what I'm saying? So you're adding up to you're adding up to 50 and you're getting this upgraded bag. Um, and usually it's higher end brands. You get eight products. You get to choose five of them, I think. Don't quote me. I don't get that one. Um, and I'm and Tim, I don't like reading, so I have not done that either. But it's out there. So just so you know, that's kind of what the situation is. I'm just getting the tiny, tiny little baby one. Cause that's my vibe. I already get so much. Oh, there are people out there who get like all of them. How do you do it? I don't. How do you use that stuff? I can't. I'm already running out of room. So that's the spiel. Have I sold you on it? This month is for July 2021. The theme is Ipsy. No, the theme is Stay Golden. So this is the bag. You do get a bag every month. If it's Baby Ipsy, it's something like this size. Pretty normal, zippered, and then if you're getting Glam Bag Plus, you're getting a drawstring pouch. Quite the controversy. It was in all the papers at the time, um, and also now. Now is the time. And then if you're getting Glam Bag X once a quarter, you can choose the bag as an item. 
so and it's usually like a little bit bigger so anyway this is the bag this is a little zip I think people like were generally into it but I don't like this tell me what you think I I don't this is not my favorite it's kind of gold it's reading I think just shiny sand which I guess is gold but anyway that's the bag not my fave not my not the worst we've got paper in here it has don't look spoilers ahead information on it so I will be reading today will be doing that um, which I it's fine uh, I don't know how I feel my favorite little papers are the face three ones but we can't all be there and then you have your items inside so let's uh let's start first I will show you my choice item it will always be my choice item given a choice I'm super excited about this this is the Christoph Robin cleansing purifying scrub with sea salt so uh, Christoph Robin is a hair care brand relatively um, like pretty expensive I, I would I would not um, purchase them generally but you do see them pop up in subscription boxes so this the full size of this which is 250 milliliters retails for $53 I yeah yeah and this is 1.357 fluid ounces 40 milliliters there is a little mini size available on Sephora for like 20 bucks that I think is a little bigger than this I think it's like two and a half ounces uh, don't quote me anyway kind of 20 bucks for like two and a half ish um, 53 for 250 mils pretty good I've gotten a size like this before and it does last me a few washes if you don't know what this is this is a scalp scrub right so you put it's scrub texture like even scrubbier than like if you have tea tree hut those scrubs this is way s solider than that um, here. so yeah not goopy at all like that um, and you scrub your scalp and it's also I would say it smells so good it smells like the sea but in a good way a very fresh aquatic -y smell but in the best way possible not fishy not even green um, but I would say this is very, very much a clarifying shampoo. Um, so it will like to totally like gets rid of any buildup you could ever have on your hair. Um, it's great. I like to use it like once a month, um, and then I use the Bumble and Bumble clarifying once a week. <sighs> no one cares. My hair doesn't even look that good, so I don't know why you're coming to me for advice here. But I love this stuff. Super pumped to have it. Super excited to see it. This is an 800 points. There we go. Jeez. I'm talking today. I don't know why. Coming in on the weekend, I think. Um, next up, we've got a nice little tiny sample. Um, because it's Tarte. This is the Tarte Quench Hydrating Primer. Um, so this is a little mini size. Uh, this is a lightweight primer. Make sure your hard work doesn't fade. Helps your foundation last longer. Keeps your skin hydrated. Hyaluronic acid and marine plant extracts. All right, cool. Um, it's from the C line, you know, Tarte C line, which I've enjoyed. Their little jelly lip thing, I think, is from the C line. Correct me if I'm wrong. Hydrating primer. I think this would be interesting to try under the Fenty Easy Ease Drop Foundation because that's pretty. That's a little drier, especially under my eyes. That this is like really the only area of my face that gets dry consistently without me also having dry skin if that makes sense so if I'm doing everything correctly but sometimes I can still get dry and irritated but this area usually is really needing hydration I usually just put down like whatever serum I'm using before makeup and then under primer but we'll try this too excited um if we'll see if I get enough to do a try on for this month we'll see how it goes but excited I like Tarte generally I, don't, I wouldn't I usually have gone my way to purchase Tart stuff, although I've heard good things about the maracuja, maracuja oil tint. Heard good things, but yeah, that's where I'm at. Next up, we've got this looks like it might be like full size, also. Um, the Brow Chow from Item Beauty in Warm Blonde. So, this is from Addison Ray's makeup line, uh, um, she TikTok person, um, and this is manufactured by. Ipsy's makeup manufacturing business, right? So Ipsy makes item beauty. They also make complex culture and then the new Toulouse 
beauty, someone I don't know. I'm so sorry, but they ha currently started a third brand. Um, but the, you know, Robert Walsh, I think, has at least a TikTok about it. But anyway, this is a brow pencil. Let me take this little. Mm -hmm. Interesting. All right. Oh, cute. I've been wanting to try a brush like this, so I'm skeptical, right? Because um, it's out of it's a TikTok influencer person, and then it's also like an Ipsy brand. But I've heard not. I haven't heard anything crazy negative about this brand. But it's got one of these little types of brushes, which I think are super cute. So maybe if nothing else, it's a good way to try that type of brush. Who else is this Fenty's? Um, Lion have that. All right. So there's the color. I don't think that's too bad. That might actually be a color match. And it's this type of tip. It's a little triangle pointy tip. Which I'm fine with. I don't mind a tip like that at all. Uh, yeah, and when I swiped it, it felt a little stiff, like not super creamy, which I, I kind of like because then you're not just putting a ton of product in your brows. It lets you control the amount of product. Would you like, anyway, I'll try this on. Um, I already lost the other end of the cap. Again, don't know if we'll have like a total try on this one, but I will. If you're interested, I'll get back to you on this. Why, it's strangely, strangely excited about that one. Didn't expect it. Um, next up, something I'm actively not excited about. Can sharp turn to the negative. Um, let me get the little plastic off. They all come in. So this is from Shades by Sean, San Francisco, California, eyeshadow duo in Honey Peach and Tangerine. And I don't think I'm going to swatch it because I might give it away. I just have so much. I mean, they don't look bad, right? It's fine. I'm not going to not gonna swatch it because I'm going to try to give it away. Um, but I have so much eyeshadow, right? And I have so much tiny eyeshadow, like singles I bought. I'm trying to buy eyeshadow. You say that I'm trying to control my consumption when I'm subscribing to this, I'm doing a subscription makeup service. Oh my gosh. The duality of man. Um, in this case, Katie. The duality of Katie. Um, but this is not a brand I recognize, right? It seems like just a subscription box brand. Um, I will look it up and I might be proven wrong. Um, but either way, I have these colors over and over again in palettes that I bought on purpose. So, something to think about. Anyway, whatever. Can't all be hits. Okay, it was going too well. And then finally, something that is, I think, technically full size, a makeup brush from uh, Makeup of the MOTD, Makeup of the Day Cosmetics. This is the Mr. Handyman brush. Um, all right. Oh, just FYI, the full size version of the Brow Chow is fifteen dollars, and it's 0.26 grams. How many grams is this? 0.26. This is full size. Wow. Mm -hmm. Um, but it makes sense because it's an Ipsy brand. But this is also full size. Uh, the retail size is twelve dollars for this. I'm, I'm trying to do math. So this is calling it a deluxe sample on my little thing. But it is also saying that it's the same amount of products as a full size. It could be that this is just like not as nice packaging. Sometimes that happens. Let me know if you've solved that mystery that I presented. But this is a makeup brush that multitasks like no others. So can you see the shape? Well, it's kind of like wide here, a little skinnier that way. Fluffy but densely packed. Very densely packed. Well, feels nice. This way. I've gotten MOTD brushes before and they performed absolutely fine. Um, uniquely shaped brush head easily blends and diffuses pressed and loose powder pigments with ease no matter your makeup skill level. Well, I have no makeup skills, so works for me. All right, apply highlighter or whatever is what they're recommending you use it for. Okay, can do. All right, so that's the final item. It looks like we have one and a half full sizes here is what I'll say. And um, we've got the makeup brush. This is I'll do a point. Let's do a point Six out of five situation. Point for this. Um, I don't use a lot of face brushes, um, but I'll try it. I don't have a lot of powder highlighters. Um, I mostly just stick to like the two that I use, and they're both liquid. But I can try it out. I can try it out. 
nothing else, just like a one swipe across. Who knows? Could be a look. Could be a look. We have the Shades by Sean Eyeshadow Duo. I'm going to give this like zero points. Um, just because I already have these, I could take this back. If it ends up being a brand that looks like something I might like, then maybe I'll give it a half. But it could never be a full point because I just already have 800 of this. Who doesn't? I think sometimes that's the issue with Ipsy's. They're going to be sending out stuff that most people like, but if it's something that most people like, that means most people already have. Maybe. I don't know. It could just be a more of a makeup consumer than, than other people, but it definitely might be true. The brow chow. I'm going to give this a point. I like the little brush. I'm, it's like not like an enthusiast. It's not like a point, but it's like it's a point. It's like that. It's a point. Um, I'm liking the little brush end. Um, I'm, it's cute. It's cute for some reason. And it looks like a good color for me, and I like the tip. Then we've got the Tarte Quench Hydrating Primer. Definitely going to give this a point. I like Tarte. I think it's a good brand. And this is not, I mean, it's tiny. It's um, 10 milliliters, so it's pretty tiny. Um, but for Tarte, not a bad size. And then... Strong, strong point for my choice item, the salt scrub. Very excited about this. So pretty good bag, bag, honestly. One of the better ones. Last month's was not really that much of a winner. This month's is very much a winner. So let me know, how did your bag go this month? Hope it was good. I think it was, uh, looking at other people's, I think it was generally a pretty good month. So let me know. Hope you're doing well. Thanks for stopping by. I try to post two times a week, sometimes three if I've got something else to say. Um, so check back in, subscribe if you feel like it, you know, to hang out, and like the video if you liked it. Uh, either way, thanks for hanging out. Glad you're here. I'll see you around.